What's up guys, welcome back. Today we're tackling one of the most underrated burgers of all time. This is my recipe for an epic patty melt. But before we do that, please take a quick second to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit that bell to enable notifications as well. All right, guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, you guys know I like to get my prep work done and out of the way. For this recipe, I like to use 80-20 ground beef. As you can see, I have them separated into equal portions, about five or six ounces. Of course, we need some cheese. I have Swiss and Havarti. We got some onions, some bread. I'm going with sourdough today. And of course, we need some burger sauce. And that, my friends, is how we're kicking this party off. In a mixing bowl, we're going in with one half cup of mayonnaise, followed by one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Next, we're going in with two tablespoons of sweet relish. If for some reason you don't want this to be sweet, you could use dill relish here as well. There we go. Next, we're going in with a teaspoon or so of worst word in the world sauce. As always, guys, the specific measurements and ingredients for this recipe can be found in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out. And now we're going in with a quarter cup of ketchup, followed by some smoked paprika and a little bit of my all-purpose seasoning. If you haven't tried that yet, you can get yours via the link in the description box or just use whatever your favorite seasoning on burgers is. That'll work just fine. As always, guys, it's important to taste as you go and adjust the flavor to your preference. We're going to break out the whisk and mix to combine. This burger sauce is going to take your burgers to the next level level it's great on plenty of different sandwiches as well so if you have any leftovers keep that in the fridge for a few days next up we have some chives that we're going to dice nice and fine and add that to the sauce as well for a little razzle dazzle that's going to add some color and some additional onion flavor so just mix that in give it one final taste test to make sure the flavor is spot on Oh man, this is a fantastic sauce, my friend. Set that aside and now it's time to prep our onions. I'm using one sweet onion here. We're gonna slice this thinly. Personally, one of my favorite things about a patty melt is to caramelize onions. So definitely take your time with this part. Really no right or wrong way to do this. Just peel the skin off the onion and then we're gonna slice it thin like you see right here after we cut it in half. That's the way I like to do it. But again, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Just do whatever is comfortable for you. The key though is to make sure they get nice and caramelized. Really take your time low and slow on your skillet this is about the thinness or the thickness that i'm looking for right here there we go we're going to set that aside get our skillet warmed over medium heat to that skillet we're going to add one tablespoon of butter followed by some avocado oil the avocado oil has a high smoke point and that's going to help prevent the butter from burning that way you get all the flavor from the butter without it burning too quickly i like to use my hands here and break up the onions and then add them to the skillet give them a toss in that delicious butter and let them cook down and caramelize this is gonna take about 15 minutes in total, so be patient here. We are gonna add some seasoning. My all-purpose seasoning works great, or just a little salt and pepper, whatever works for you. Use whatever seasoning you like that you have in your pantry. Just mix that in. Make sure the seasoning is evenly coated on those onions. Break them up. If you see any large chunks, you can remove them and break them down a little bit. Give them a toss. Make sure they're cooking evenly. You want to scrape the bottom and the sides to make sure nothing's sticking and burning. Now we're going in with a few dashes of worst word in the world sauce. This is going to add some umami flavor and it's going to help caramelize them a little bit quicker. If you're one of those folks that make sandwiches pretty frequently during the week, you can make this in bulk and put this in the refrigerator and have some delicious caramelized onions on your weekly sandwiches for lunch. Basically what's happening here, guys, is the low and slow technique that we're using on the onions helps those natural sugars in the onion begin to caramelize. That's what brings that nice deep dark color that you see and a little bit of sweet flavor that it brings. Basically, long story short, today's lesson is caramelized onions are delicious. Now, my friends, we're going to toast our bread. So in the same skillet, we clean that off. We're going to add a little bit more butter and our sourdough bread. If you have your favorite bread for this, you can use it. But today I'm using sourdough because that's what I found at the store and sourdough is delicious. So after a minute or so, we want a nice, beautiful golden brown color. We're going to flip them over and toast both sides of the bread. Be patient here, guys. Make sure that you don't burn your bread. Just keep an eye on it. Once you have it toasted to perfection like so, we're going to remove that from the skillet and get to work on our burger patties. I balled them up into separate patties because we're basically making smash burgers here. I like to season them on a plate so I can roll them around. I'm hitting them with a little all-purpose seasoning. I also like McCormick's hamburger seasoning, but feel free to use whatever seasoning you enjoy. Just roll them around on the plate to make sure that they're evenly seasoned. And then we're going to add them to our cast iron skillet here in just a moment. These are about five to six ounces each. This is going to make a pretty epic size patty melt. So, hey, we're here for a good time, not a long time. What can I say? Take your cholesterol medicine and meet me over by the cast iron skillet. We're going to warm that to medium high. Add one tablespoon of butter because why the hell not? Then we're going to add those burger patties. I'm going to cook these one at a time because they're going to be pretty big. You want them to be relatively flat to fit the sourdough bread. Nothing worse than having more bread than burger. We're going to smash them down evenly like you see right here. We're using the spatula and then we're just going to let them cook. Don't touch them. Give them a couple minutes per side to develop a beautiful crust. 
The crust is gonna add texture and flavor to the party. You can season it a little bit more if you want to. I'm going down with a little bit more salt and pepper, maybe a little onion powder, garlic, cayenne if you wanna add some spice, or just keep it simple with a little salt and pepper. We're gonna flip it over once the crust is developed. Oh man, look at that. Going down with some Havarti cheese. I'm using two different cheeses today, Havarti and Swiss. Use whatever you like though on your burger. Once the cheese is melted and the burger is cooked through, we're gonna go ahead and remove it and repeat that same process for the second burger patty. Look at that crust. We're two for two on crust today, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you wanna see other recipes, let me know. Now, my friends, it's time to build a epic patty melt burger. On our sourdough bread, we're gonna hit both sides with our sauce that we made because I'm a both sides of the bun kind of guy. There we go. We're gonna go down with burger patty number one, and then we're gonna go down with burger patty number two. Before we add the cheese though, we're gonna add those caramelized onions that we made earlier and then add the next layer of cheese. Now I know what you're thinking. Before you leave the comment talking about people having heart attacks, just remember, you're the one that clicked on the thumbnail with the double burger patty and six pieces of cheese, not me. Now that we got that PSA out of the way, we can get back to having fun. Top that burger patty with more cheese, then we're gonna break out the blowtorch to melt the cheese. If you don't own a blowtorch, just put this under the broiler and allow that cheese to melt beautifully. But for me, I'm gonna break out the blowtorch because I got one and it's just kind of fun to do. So we're gonna caramelize the cheese a little bit, nice and brown like you see right there. And then we're gonna place that other side of the bread right on top and press it down for a little cinematic effect. Brace yourself for a trademark money shot, my friend. Say it with me, guys, looking good. Oh, man. Now it's time for the cross section. This burger is gonna be epic. I'm on a diet, so I only had a few bites, but we shared this amongst the four of us. Look at that. Caramelization of the onions is perfect. We got great crust on the burgers. The cheese is melty. The bread is toasted beautifully, and I'm going in for the taste test. This one's a winner, my friends. If I had a fork, I'd drop it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give your boy a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the bell to enable notifications. And as always, thank you for your support.